Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixel Make. In our last video, we created the ship's move mechanic. If you haven't watched that, the link for that will be in the description below. Today's tutorial will be split into two parts. The link for part two will be in the description below. Don't forget the project is also available on GitHub. The link for that will be in the description below. The difficulty for today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. For today's video, we're going to be using Unity version 2017.2. The asset pack we're using in today's video is our very own spaceship pack. The link for that will be in the description below, as well as our other asset packs. So before we start, there's a few things we need to do that I forgot to do in the last video. So we need to apply our changes that we made to our ship. So select the ship, go up to the top and hit apply. We also need to save our scene. You can do that by pressing Control S or go to File and Save Scene. So I'm gonna create a new folder. So right click, New Folder, and I'm gonna call this Scenes. Open that up. And I'm gonna call this Scene Build Stage. So in our ship controller, uh, it would seem that I've been using the wrong update function. So the update function we should be using is the fixed update function. So if you save that, go back to Unity. So in today's video, we're going to be creating the ship's shoot mechanic. Uh, to do this, we need to create the gun's fire points, which is where the bullets will spawn. We need to create our bullet prefab and we'll need to create our bullet script to fire the bullet forward. So if we go to our ship and go to our guns, so I'm going to select them both by holding shift, uh, right click and go to create empty. And if I select both of these get empty game objects, holding control, uh, I'm gonna change the name to Firepoint. So if we go to our scene tab, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm going to uh, position our Firepoint so it's just in front of our uh, ship's guns, like that. So that's the uh, right gun, so this one here. I'm gonna copy the transform component by right clicking and hitting hit copy component. I'm gonna go to our fire point on our left gun and then paste it on by right clicking the transform component and then, and then pasting the component values, which should position it in front of the other gun. So the reason it's positioned it in front of the other gun it's because the parent object of the right gun is mirrored over to the other side. So now that we've done that, we're gonna, I'm gonna go into our ship controller and create our shoot mechanic. So the first thing I'm going to create is our bullet, our bullet reference, uh, our fire point reference, and I'm gonna create a fire rate as well. So I'm gonna do a public game object, and I'm gonna call it bullet. So the next thing I'm gonna create is a transform array for our fire points. The reason I'm making this an array is because we have two fire points and what we can do is store them on a single variable. So I'm gonna do public transform and to uh, turn it into an array, we do square brackets. So I'm gonna call this fire points. So the way an array works is you have to set how many objects are in the array whether it's in the script or Unity. So for this array, you have to do equals new transform and you do the square brackets again. And inside that square bracket, you do however many objects you want. In this case, it's gonna be two. So the next thing we're gonna create is our fire rate. So public float, and I'm gonna call it fire rate. And I'm also gonna create a private float for when we want to next fire. So next, fire. So in the start function, we're gonna set next fire to be equal to one divided by fire rate. So in a sense, our next fire is one second divided by however many bullets we want per second. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to our fixed update and create our input controls. So I'm gonna create a Boolean, so bool, and I'm gonna call this fire button. And that's going to be equal to input dot get button brackets and quotations. And the button we're going to be using is our fire one button, which you can set to whatever key you want on the keyboard. So by default, Unity sets its fire one to be our left control button, which I will be changing inside the Unity engine. We want to set next fire 
to be minus equals time dot delta time. So what this does is it will gradually lower our next fire over time. So next we're going to create an if statement for when uh, next fire is less than or equal to zero. So if brackets next fire is less than or equal to zero. So if next fire is less than or equal to zero, we want to instantiate or spawn a bullet on both of our fire points. So to do that, we need to create a for statement, which will cycle through both of our fire points. So to do that, we do four brackets and I'm going to create a integer and I'm going to call it I and that's going to be equal to zero. And then we do a semicolon. And after that, we do I is less than two, which will be the amount of fire points we have. And we do a semicolon and finally we do I plus plus which will increment for each cycle. So we do some curly brackets. Uh, so inside our for statement, we're going to instantiate brackets. And the object we want to instantiate is our bullet game object. So bullet, and then we do comma. And the position we want to instantiate our object is our fire point position. So we do fire point, do our square brackets. And inside the square brackets, we're going to do I and then we do dot position and the rotation of our bullet, I'm going to set to zero. So we do quaternion dot Euler brackets. And I'm just going to do zero comma zero comma zero. So basically this for statement will loop between both of our fire point position and instantiate a bullet on that position with its rotation being zero. So if we save the script, go back to Unity. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, assign our fire points. So I'm, going to, so I'm going to drag our fire points onto our script. I'm actually going to rename these fire points so you can differentiate between the two. So I'm going to do underscore R for the right fire point and underscore L for the left one. So I'm going to apply those changes. And all we need out is our bullet game object. So in our hierarchy, I'm going to right click, go to 3D object and sphere, and this is going to be our bullet. So I'm going to rename this to bullet, move it into view, and I'm going to scale it down to about 0.3. So now that we've got our bullet, I'm going to uh, create a prefab for it. So what I'm going to do is click and drag our, pre, uh, our bullet into our prefab folder. And the only thing we've got to do now is, is drag our bullet prefab onto our ship controller script. So I'm going to apply those changes. Uh, we also need to set our fire rate. So I'm going to set that to five. Apply those changes. And before we start, I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, change your input controls. So if we go to edit, project settings, input, and to change and to change your fire one button, you go to the positive button. And for you, it should be set to your left control. I've gone ahead and set that to our, to my spacebar. So if we test our game and press our fire button, you'll notice that we are spawning bullets, but they're not firing off into the distance. And also uh, our ship is also interacting with those bullets. Before the video ends, I'd just like to give a special thanks to the artist behind our asset packs, Julian. You can find him on Instagram at woo.ju.digital. So that's all we've got for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. For updates on our asset packs and videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For a more behind the scenes look into what we do, you can also follow us on Instagram. Links for those will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and I'll see you guys in part two.